Hola everybody, I've been back in the US for a few months now, more on that later. I just want to get to the last video of Sapporo, which was a really fun day, so I hope you guys enjoy this. The first thing I did after waking up late again was head over to the Sapporo Beer Museum, which is the only beer museum in Japan, by the way. I really enjoyed it. The architecture really stood out just because it's more of a western building kind of looking thing um, in the middle of a huge Japanese city. It's a self-guided tour. Um, they offer guided tours, but if you speak Japanese only, and this, everything they have written for the like museum part is all in Japanese, so um, I definitely still enjoyed it, but I think people who speak Japanese obviously have a deeper understanding. Things that show like the labels, the bottles, the process of making beer, and the uh, a whole bunch of ads that they've ran throughout its inception of the beer as a brewery. So it's really cool just to kind of see everything, history kind of evolve in front of you. I really enjoyed that part. At the end, you get to taste some amazing beer. I had this three beer kind of tasting thing. The beer that came in there was the uh, Black Label, which is the most popular selling beer that they have, and then the Classic, and then this third one, which I'm not gonna try and pronounce because it was too hard for me. I really enjoyed it, but I can't tell you the difference between any of the beers just because I have a basic tongue and they all tasted the same to me. Though. Moving on, the next place I hit up was a sushi restaurant called Nimuru Hanamaru. Um, that place is apparently like a local kind of favorite with the people. It's uh, the JR Tower. Um, the food itself was, oh my god, amazing. I had had Kaiten sushi or uh, conveyor belt sushi before, but this by far took the award for the best thing ever because every bite was amazing just because it's like an island. So I think it's just super up. Everything's close to Japan to the sea, it's an island. But this is a small island close to the sea, so I think everything is extra fresh. Um, if you can get extra fresh. Um, as you can see, just everything looks so delicious, and it was, it, the video doesn't do it justice. Like, everything was delicious. The, my favorite was like the fatty tuna. I just love that. It's, I forget what it's called in Japanese, but it's my favorite. I highly, highly recommend this place if you ever make your way out to Sapporo. Next up, I went to JR Tower Observatory, which is at the top of uh, the building where the restaurant I ate was in. It was super cool because they have a 360 view of all the city. And since it was raining, it was kind of nice to kind of still have that view, um, even though you know the weather outside wasn't the best. Even the bathroom had an amazing view, so it just goes to show how be uh, awesome this place is. There was also this lady playing uh, violin. I don't know what she was practicing for, but she was there, and it was super cool just to kind of see her play, and she played beautifully. So in all honesty, I was only up there to kill some time because I was trying to watch Incredibles 2. It was, I think, it came out in the US a couple months ago, but then the, when it was scheduled to come out in Japan, the city I lived in, since it's a smaller town, didn't have it in English, so I was kind of stuck not watching it. But I took advantage of being in Sapporo, which is the fifth biggest city in Japan, and I was able to see it in Japanese. Only time I ever went to the theater in Japan was just to watch superhero films, because you know I'm a big uh, Marvel DC geek. Marvel's better, obviously. DC has the better animated movies. Okay, sorry. Um, but it was really cool just to see that movie after many, 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 many years of anticipation. And I definitely think it lived up to the hype. I really enjoyed it. I'd eaten so much at the sushi place that I wasn't really hungry for dinner. But what I did find was this cool place called the Milk Bar, which is pretty much what it was. It was a bar that had a lot of like uh, ice cream that you can eat along with your liquor. And it's really cool because the way you eat it, they give you choices of three liquors. Uh, I got tequila, some brandy, and then something else that they recommended to me. And then you just big like pile of ice cream and then you just kind of dip your spoon in and you you know put a little bit of the um, alcohol on the ice cream and just eat it like that and surprisingly it was really tasty so it wasn't enough to like get you drunk or anything but I feel like that's definitely one of the funnest ways to get drunk and they give you like some coffee and like a cool little cookie so you know and it's only like 10 bucks so I think it's definitely worth it you know just to kind of go in for a quick little drink kind of have some fun before you go out I didn't just because I was by myself and I didn't want to go out by myself so Sapporo has easily, easily been my favorite city in Japan. It has a perfect mix of city life since it's huge, but it has easy access to hiking spots. You know, you got a beautiful ocean, um, seaside town, about an hour away on a train, which is pretty cheap. Um, you know, you have tons and tons of viewing spots. I was only there for four or five days, 
and I still didn't get to see every lookout point just because they had so many there. And it's just a wonderful city. The atmosphere is really awesome. During the summer, all of Japan is extremely hot and humid. With it being up north, Sapporo was a little cooler than the rest of Japan, definitely. And I really enjoyed that because I did not like the weather on mainland Japan at the time. Um, I don't know, it was just like the food was amazing. They had the curry soup, the miso ramen. So some of the highlights of when I look back on my time in Japan has definitely been the food in Sapporo. So I just really, really like that place and I, and I hope you guys are able to go just because you know there's tons of stuff I want to see still uh, there's tons of museums that I have time to see because it was kind of rainy on that last day there's not much I can say that's bad about Sapporo the only thing I could complain about was maybe lack of temples or shrines but that's understandable just because it's a newer city compared to the other like Kyoto and Tokyo another thing to complain about is which is super minor is just the distance from the main kind of island uh, just because you know you have to take like a boat I think I don't think there's trains or be able to drive across obviously so that's the only thing and I'm just nitpicking here because I, I felt like I couldn't just talk about Sapporo which I was saying some of the negative things which honestly that was really hard because there's tons of things that just make that city amazing and I just want to go back already and kind of explore what I didn't explore I want to go back during winter where tons of snow falls maybe then I'll like an onsen because I don't like them because they're too hot right now please subscribe to my channel uh, like this video share with your friends just so I can have a bigger channel I'll try to be more consistent too and I'll see you guys in the next one